Today we start with a tutorial on OAuth 2. In this first part we will discuss the Spring Authorization Server. We start in Eclipse with the POM XML file. As usual we use the latest version of Spring Boot. Today this is 3.0.1. We need two Maven dependencies in our project. Spring Boot Starter Web and Spring Security OAuth 2 Authorization Server. Again the latest version, today it is 1.0.0. This dependency you need to insert manually. Next is Application Properties. Here we have Server Port and possibly Logging level org spring framework security equals trace. In this simple example, we only have one security config class. We can now go over the code. We have two security filter chain beans. Pay special attention to the order annotation. In the first security filter chain, we configure everything with defaults. And the login entry point. In the second security filter chain, Form login is configured, and all requests authenticated. Next is the user details service. For now we use the in-memory user details manager, and the no op password encoder. Then we have the registered client repository, with client ID, client secret, scope, Three redirect URI to test our Spring Authorization Server. Client Authentication Method. Authorization Grant Type. Again, we use the in-memory registered client repository for now. Furthermore, Authorization Server Settings. Token Settings. And Client Settings. Here we set. Authorization Consent to false and proof key to false finally we have the jwk source method with two static auxiliary methods to secure the jwt token we have launched our project and are ready to test there are a couple of methods for testing a spring authorization server testing is done in two steps first we need to use the authorization endpoint to log in and get an authorization code. With the authorization code, we can then request an access token to use the project. We start in a browser window to view the first endpoints. There are two endpoints that are freely accessible to everyone. Here you can see all the info from the Spring Authorization Server and all the endpoints. The second endpoint contains the public key to sign the JWT access token. The first method to test the Spring Authorization Server is with the OAuth 2 debugger website. We need the following data. This data must match the data in our project's registered client repository. Authorize URI. Redirect URI. Client ID. Scope. We can send a request. We can now log into the login page of the Spring Authorization Server. If all goes well, we get a success in response with an authorization code. We can use this code later to request an access token. A second website we can use is OpenID Connect Debugger. This site works the same way. Fill in all data and press send request. If all goes well, we get a successful response with an authorization code. The next step we do with Insomnia. We do a post request to the Tomb endpoint. With the following data. Client. And secret as basic authentication. Further we have. Redirect URI which we just entered on one of the two websites. Grant type. And code. This is the token we just received from one of the two websites. When we send the request, we get an access token in the answer. 
There are two more tests I want to show you. The introspect endpoint gives info about the client and user. As basic authentication, we have client and secret. As token, the access token we just received. When we send the post request, we get the info in response. The revoke endpoint uses the same info. As basic authentication, we have client and secret. As token, the access token we just received.